I want to go back to the human aspect. Uh-huh. Did you have soldiers in your troop that didn't, maybe this was their first deployment. Oh, hell They're yeah. all screwed up. You had to hand, handheld some people, handhold some people down this path. If we got them, remember SRP? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> so t- tell me what happened. Yes. Hell, if you made it to combat, thank you Jesus, right? Yeah. They would snatch them before they got there. Yeah. SRP will whoop your ass like your granddaddy. I'm telling you, it was. <laughs> the, what can you break down SRP? Because I don't even know what it stands for. Yeah, um, I think it stands for Social Soldier Readiness, Readiness Processing. Yeah. Yeah. And essentially, what they do is they have you go through. You you know you get all your immunizations. Yeah. You um you update your um you know next of kin. You yes. basically do all the you check all the blocks to yeah. to be able to go and have the army ready to you know be able to respond. So. Here's what happens. Yeah. yeah, so tell me. I mean, there's got to be a, at least one stations, person. Right? No, one. Yeah, there had to be something. Somebody got high blood pressure. Somebody found out they're pregnant. Somebody, I mean, next thing oh, you know, you're 65, go to four, three, two. <laughs> no. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You don't know. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I don't like SRP. All right. So now you guys are deployed. I keep hearing this. We split forces. I mean, yeah. how did that happen? I mean, I remember one time in one of our missions, you know, it, it, it's always in, yeah, what the hell do I know? I was never in a senior command position at mm-hmm. all, thank God. But was this by choice? Did, as the commander, did we say, we have to meet two different missions, we're going to split force? That's that's a very uh, strong decision to make to do that. Mm-hmm. How, how did that happen? And what was that planned? Yes, yes and no. So when we first started, when we first got there, we were split by basically helicopters versus uh, UAVs. So we had the UAVs in one location in central Iraq and we had the helicopters in another location. But again, um, I'm sorry, but you knew that was going to happen. Yes. That wasn't like a mistake. Yeah, okay, we, okay. we didn't have a choice. We, gotcha. you know, because access to support yeah. certain missions. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So you're in, and, and sorry, what were the locations I want to get at central Iraq? I mean, and where? Uh, yeah, both central Iraq. So um, Got it. we had Al Takadam and Got it. Uh, Got it. Camp Taji. All right. Essentially, yeah. So you're as the commander in the first sergeant, mm-hmm. you're man you're 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 managing missions and two groups of assets, personnel and equipment, mm-hmm. two different cities, yeah. two different missions. Yeah. Three. And then wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I, no, how did this go down? Back. Yeah. So go on. I'm, <laughs> well, it was interesting because our squadron was really split across a multitude of locations. Um, and what ended up happening is that we got the opportunity um to essentially deploy assets to a more austere location um kind of unexpectedly and that was an i mean it was an interesting mission it was something that we looked looked forward to we wanted to give our team the opportunity to do something a little bit more dynamic than what we were doing in camp taji um and so it was a mission that was going to have to get done anyway so we figured yeah, better to to split the organization Again. and yeah, and and kind of give and essentially split the helicopter team into two teams. Would you say you did that? I don't know if for morale is the right term, but to bring a a, a purpose she yeah. to everybody that. in your she command. Absolutely, one hundred percent. People were bored, not feeling. Yes. they were uh, contributing. Yeah. So this new mission came up and you said, we're on Well, it. you know pilots. Yeah. Wow. Well, you and know it's, pilots. Yeah, I mean, I think it's tough because it's it's not that they weren't doing something. You know, what the mission that they were doing was not meaningless. Sure. But it's really hard when you don't see the day-to-day results of what you do to understand why you're doing it. And mm. I think you kind of, that kind of goes back to maybe the age maturity thing where you kind of have to see that higher level vision of what's going on to understand why something's important. And I, I don't I don't diminish them for that, though. I think that that's totally a normal reaction to, you know, you deploy away from your family for nine months. You want to do something impactful. Sure. Yeah, I totally so, I get it. Were yeah. you two in the same location? Not the whole time. <laughs> yeah. No. We, no. Did that create problems? Was that was that difficult or how? I mean, it doesn't help. <laughs> I always, I always, always tell them, you want me to tell mom? No, maybe tell mom. <laughs> She's mom. <laughs> so, well, Keith, what, what, what were, what, what was your job like then? I mean, what were some of the challenges you were facing then? So, to keep the union together, um, there's that's no joke. Not only was I going through a lot of personal problems, but everybody else was too. Um, uh, now, I'm, I don't give a shit. I, I don't know. What? You know, Say it. like I don't spill the beans. It is what it is with me. I mean, there's always something going on, right? <laughs> but troops aren't used to that type of 
bullshit going on in the background and sorry about that and it's still focusing and knocking it down right now this ain't my this ain't my uh first you know i think kids that get beat as children are are you know that they, they have like a little they've already been disappointed a little bit so if something happens you know i'm at 26 when i first had my first disappointment you know off subject but my point is <laughs> is that human aspect of there was a little scandal going on that, that kind of touched a bunch of troops and, you know. So what do you have to do? Just try to pull them along as best. I mean, what do you got to do? What'd you do? Well, two things. A lot of people got in trouble. Okay. Yeah. And that is what it is. I mean, it's just sad to say that, you know, there's some people who left E4s in sergeants that are now E4s and some people left as E3s and now they're E2s and some people, they took all their shit. Some people went to jail or whatever. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Some people got, you saw them today, never saw them again. 